Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everybody, and thank you for coming to the channel. You know what a channel is. You know what channel you on. Yes, I like to talk about celebrities, their comings and goings. And you might ask why. Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. All right, we're back again talking about NeNe Leakes and how she let Peter fool her with getting with his friend, the scammer man. All right. Now, she's supposed to have this grand opening. And did y'all really see uh, she got uh, her son as a DJ? You probably can't see it because it's kind of, um, I don't know, hard to see, I guess. I didn't picture it correctly. But she has him as the DJ. When did he become the DJ? I thought he was the hookah man. You know, had his own hookah business. And then I thought he was the owner. So I'm kind of confused. I'm kind of confused. But I did try my best. To uh, keep y'all updated on the comings and goings of the new Le- the Lanithia Lounge. And like I said, I don't know if this is some shit Nene just doing, just throwing up him. But I know I tried to call earlier today because it was the 16th. They were supposed to be opening. They're having a grand opening. Now, you know, they open at 5 p.m. Okay? Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay? But why can't nobody answer the phone? Nobody's answering the phone over there. And then I called. He was busy. So I'm thinking other people are being like me, nose as hell, or they just want to come down there and chill. Uh, either way, the phone just keep ringing. And uh, let me see if I could see if we can get somebody live while I am actually doing this video and see what we can hear or see or, oh, see now it's busy. Okay, now before I start making this video, which was like seven or eight minutes ago, it was just ringing. But now it's just constantly being busy. But we would check on it as we continue to do the video. Y'all hear it, right? It's busy. <coughs> Got the busy signal going on. But for the life of me, I don't understand. How did you fall for grace so fast, so fast, so fast, so fast? Once you got hooked up with this uh, scammer man, Shaba, you know, and Peter was the first person you had to go to to get hooked up from. Oh, nee, 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 nee. What a tangle web we weave when we practice to the sea. But girl, you got some stands out there, girl. You got, I ain't saying you're going to be like the beehive. But it's some folk been cussing my ass out. Okay, I don't think I need to be up in your business. I don't need to be counting your coins and all of that. And all thing I can say is just like Candy. You're right. <laughs> I should not be um talking about you or this, that, and the third. But if I don't, somebody else will. Okay, somebody else will. It won't stop at just the uh youtubers it goes you know do you write all your stands do they go and attack people magazine do they go and then quite the uh um what do you call it try to silence uh who else that's a, a good uh blogger do y'all go to um jet magazine if we still have that essence magazine do y'all partake in y'all silliness and y'all comebacks I'm trying to take up for Nene leaks, okay? Do you ever go to those venues first? Or do you just start with the bloggers and try to work your way up to the highest blogger thinking they're going to give y'all time? Well, see, I'm the opposite. I, if I got time, I will respond. You probably won't like what I respond back to you. It just depends on what energy you was giving me. And, you know, when I got time, I can give back the same energy and mo. But, again, Nene had a grand opening today. I can't confirm or deny because I've been trying to call. 
her place of business her business but it's either ringing off the hook nobody's there to pick it up or it's busy okay so we just don't know we just don't know guys i mean you got a business you should be having staff pick up the phone okay that's costing you money to let the phone ring or to let the phone be disconnected all right i am just saying okay i am just saying but child I was like, whoa, hold your horses. What is going on? How can you, you only close because it was an emergency. So how are you going to have a re-grand opening? That don't make sense, Nene. That just don't make sense. Please come over here and talk to us at Deb Chanel's 40th World. Because we want to understand your plight. We really do. Because I have never heard of another reopening. Let's call that number one more time and see what we get. What we get? Oh, it's ringing now, guys. Maybe somebody will pick up. It's ringing. Now, surely she hired new staff, right? Surely somebody should be picking up this damn phone. If you let the phone ring more than four times, that's unprofessional. At least that's what I was taught when I used to work in the restaurant business when I was a teenager. But as you can see, her lounge is supposed to be open at 5 p.m. on Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Well, not maybe not Sunday, but Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Starts at 5 p.m. But as you can see, we have nothing. And then it cut off on me. So, <laughs> I'm like, where they do that at? I guess Southern Bell or Bell South or whatever song, uh, system we got up in here now in Atlanta. I guess if it rings a certain amount of times, it's just going to automatically hang up on you. And that's exactly what it did. That's just what it did. Because if y'all want to call y'all selves and come back and report to me, here's the number. 678-691-8756. Again, that number is 678-691-8756. And y'all enlighten me. Y'all tell me. Uh, is she open? Is she not open? Because I don't live in that area. Okay. I don't live in that area. I would go out to that area for some time. To get my car serviced. Or you know I want to go to Perimeter Mall. Or something to that degree. Or Tanger Outlet. I can go that way. But usually mm -mm, I don't have to go there. But I was trying to give Nene a one up. I'm like okay. You might be having some money problems. But you got everything straightened out. Because the phone back on. But god damn. We ain't got nobody answering the phone now. So it makes you. It gives one to pause. Is it open? Okay. We know she got the phone back on. Because I told you it was disconnected last weekend. Now we got it ringing. And then we got busy signal. Now. I don't know why y'all stance, the Nene stance people want to sit up here and co-sign on the shit that she doing. Y'all are wrong. I wouldn't want friends like y'all. I, I wouldn't want y'all. I'm telling you. Because you would watch me go on in the grave. And still be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And Nene Leeds had said that she was part owner with her son Brent. In that, um, in, in the Lanethia. That's what she said. That's what she said. I don't have the video. Uh, to prove it, but it's one out there. She it was one night they were celebrating, and she told him she was gift gifting him half of the restaurant, or he would have it one day, or have it. She's giving it to him, gifting it, gift gifting it to him. And this is before Greg died. He was there at that event, and they gave each other hugs and kisses all the way around. So was uh Brent not? doing well with the running of the operations of the business nene uh did he fuck up somewhere and well you really fucked up i ain't only blame it on brent because you know brent they have no managerial experience he should have went and took classes and marketing and running a business you should have made that a, a, a firm stance before you gifted him the Lanethia. And maybe you gifted him the Lanethia so it won't be in your name. In case uh, taxes wanted to come and find you. Because you know how celebrities are. I don't know who be doing their books. Who be taking their money and everything. But 
some of these celebrities, they don't want to pay taxes, okay? I mean, I got to pay taxes, you know, whether I like it or not. I still you got to pay them, okay? But some celebrities, they just feel like they're not paying it. Or they get to the point where they say they didn't know their accountant wasn't paying it. When you know good and got a well, was your accountant doing it? Because you have to take a look at your books. You have to take a break one day and just meet with your accountant and you want to see the numbers to make sure they add up to what you thinking they should be. Okay? Depending on the gigs you were uh, given because of them and they have to take their little percentage out and then you have what's left. Okay? But girl, Nene Lanithia Monique Leaks. You need to get it together, girl. You need to get it together. All right? And stop listening to your followers that's telling you you living your best life because you're not, baby. You're not living your best life and you know it in your heart of hearts. You know what you're doing is wrong. Now, I suggest, you know, you need to let him go. Let him go, 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 go. All right? Don't even look at him as he walk out the door. Okay? Don't even do it. Okay? Because that's the best thing that will happen to you. Send him from whence he came. All right. Because ever since he got into your life, you've been having issues for the negative. Okay. Well, you know, we always blasted you here and there when you thought you were just too good to be on the uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Then you're going around here calling and all kinds of names. And you're talking about Kim Zozek. Like she, uh, I guess, should be wiped off the face of the earth. As we consider you talking about her. Then you go back and forth with Candy. Act like you don't know her. <laughs> Ooh, I still remember when Candy said she saw you on the beach one day. She know you saw. She said she know you saw her. As well as her hollering out your name. And you still went on past her. Just act like you didn't hear. Just turned around and kept walking. And I think Scammer Man was with you. But Candy didn't want to you know, say all that. And that would be a, a good friend, I guess, if they didn't want to put your business out there. Especially if you were trying to be incognito. But, yeah, you don't burn a lot of bridges, baby, by being with this uh, scammer man, Shaba. Okay, that's what we got. Scammer man, Shaba. Mr. Scammer man, Shaba, Shaba. Okay, and then you got Pete. Girl, you got Peter hooking you up. Oh, you know what Peter did to Cynthia. You know the loan he took from Cynthia. That Cynthia, for some reason, she just had the Lord on her side. And she was just feeling all giving. And she forgave your debt that you owed her. You know. You know this. I'm pretty sure if Peter was a friend, he probably told you what Cynthia had gifted him. Now, you know he ain't got no money. So, why you why you being introduced to somebody that you know ain't got no money? Okay, and it's for what I hear on them streets. All right, don't know if they true. It all may be allegedly. He he in debt, girl. He's in debt. And then one of my family members on YouTube told me you were having, uh, you were hiring as a chef, your head chef. And he's African, but he's also peep this, y'all. He's also scammer man's friend. And that's not that's not it now. He has a felony record. Now, Nina, you make it make sense. You make it make sense. You talking about Sheree, they Tyrone, and he in jail. Talking about a convict. You try to make us all be a fit, understand and uh, fill us in on the comings and goings of what Sheree was doing, you know. And you were saying, oh, Sheree shouldn't be doing this. She's better than that. She, and look what you doing. You hiring a felon. Okay. On the hopes and dreams and prayers of your scammer, shabba boyfriend. Girl. Now, don't get me wrong. All felons aren't bad felons. Sometimes they be at the wrong place at the wrong time and they get caught up. All right. I understand that. Get it. Got it good. But I'm talking about how Nene has talked about her fellow castmates doing some strange things. You know? And, and Sheree up there dating somebody in jail and she was saying she don't put all her interest in it how dare you put all your interest in it because all thing y'all have is phone sex just phone talk he wasn't there with you girl how could you be so connected okay but we're gonna we're gonna let sheree rest a minute because she might be going through some psychological issues because i'm sure it's probably trying to figure out what the hell is going on with their mama okay
and trying to keep their grandmama straight. Because what I heard there, too, she was on the ooh-wee and had got strung out. Now, I don't know if it's true or not, so don't <laughs> don't quote me, okay? I'm just passing it along. I'm like candy. I'm a little bone collector. I'm not sure if it is true, but it's something to talk about, okay? In case we all have to come together and say a little prayer here and there. You know what I'm saying? But that's all I got for this video, guys. I'll keep checking back. Seeing if I get somebody to answer that phone. Or if I got the time, I'll ride back up there and take some pictures, okay? Take some pictures so y'all can see. All right? But yeah, Nitty was supposed to have this grand opening. I don't know who the other person is. Uh, he's supposed to be part of her band. The one in the shades. And her son has been demoted to uh, the DJ. Now I'm like, God damn, he's DJ, he the owner, and he be running the uh serving people. Be running the bar tab too. He's is he a bartender as well? Like nay nay. Make it make sense. And y'all go over to my other channel, make it make sense. It's C E N T Z and check me out for more hilarious laughs, okay? And more kikis. But that's all I got for this video, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.